what's up my people how is going on this is your boy lb welcome back to my youtube channel today in this video i'm going to show you how you can make the best transition by using masking effect just like this Stick around, let's jump in Premiere Pro just right now. In my timeline, I have three different video clips. This is the first one, this is the second one. And this is the third one. So those are the clips which I'm going to use, okay? Extend this timeline, then just combine those three clips together. now back here on the center of my first two video clips okay guys here i'm going to find the frame the first frame of my second clip because is the one which i'm going to use by making transition okay click here on export frame you can use those ctrl shift press e so now export as in gpg format so now you have to browse it where you're going to save your image okay so now do it again here on the second then here i'm going to find the first frame of the last creep okay so now export the frame again and then click okay the setting has already been saved <coughs> So now let's jump in Adobe Photoshop to edit my pictures. So now click here on file, and then open your images. Okay. So now select your image, open it. Okay. <clears throat> Guys, here I'm going to use this pen tool. I'm going to draw this load because as you have been see the load comes first before the creep so now select all and then i have to remove this background and it means road only so now apply layer here on mask So after this, you have to save this image in PNG format. Just choose PNG format, okay? That is the best way to save your image. When you don't choose PNG format, your effect cannot be good, okay? So now let me jump on my second image. Guys, as you see here, I have three towers buildings. So now I'm going to select but I have to select one by one. So let me do it first. So now after selecting those three towers, so also I'm going to save each by each image after back here in Adobe Premiere Pro. So now I'm going to import my image. This is my image. So now drag it here on this timeline. This image, you must end it where my first frame of my second clip is ended, okay? So now here I'm going to add some effect. So now go here on effect, search effect called crop. So drag this effect here on this image. So as you see here, this is crop settings. So now come here on the beginning of my image. 
so when i come here on the top when i increase this number you see how my rod is is disappeared so i'm going to add some keyframe on the beginning of my image and then go here on the end of my image so now i'm going to reduce this number of the top you see here my rod is coming so now when we play you see how my rod is coming okay from down to up okay so now i'm going to add another effect called film dissolve okay so let me reduce this duration of this effect okay you just see how my effect is coming okay yeah that's cool this is cool maybe i'm done for the first transition so now let me jump on the second one and then open up your image the png image which you have been saved okay drag those image all in this timeline okay those image guys you have to end to ending up where your frame is started okay so i have those three images on this timeline okay this is the first tower i have to reduce these two remains one and then i increase this and then increase the second one too okay just like this because <clears throat> my transition as you have been seeing it will comes by one tower by one one house by one okay i'm going to add also this crop effect so drag it all to your all image So now come here on the top and then you have to add the frame where the effect will end and then back here on the side on the beginning then reduce the number okay guys for here i make the inverse of the first method that i have used on the first transition so now drag this crop here on the second image and then add the key from here remember the top has zero okay so now back here on the beginning of my first image and then increase the number so when you pray the image will comes from down to up so now let me add it here on the last image so now add some crop and then add the keyframe here here zero back on the beginning of my image then increase this number when you play you see that's really dope so guys select this keyframes light click on it and then click here on easy out this is out it helps your keyframe to be smoothed if you just want to can use this graph to smooth your animation okay so let me do it to all these image okay smooth and then just use this graph to help your animation to look very good yes so when i pray you see how my transition is so now let me smooth this one too okay click on easy out then use this graph to smooth your 
You're on a mission, yes. So guys, this is how you can make this best transition in your video clip. Guys, if you like my video, please leave your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. Yeah, that is it. See you next video.